hello everybody welcome back to a day in my life i'm not 100 percent sure what time this is i'll probably show you the clock here in a little bit but i always spend a good chunk of my morning <laughs> cuddling with all of my animals so riley is the yellow dog paisley is the black dog and you'll see my cat ashton pop up here in a little bit but i would say i probably spend about 30 30 to 45 minutes laying in bed cuddling. It's definitely my favorite part of the day. Check. I'm so tired. I actually woke up at 3.30. Come on! I actually woke up at 3.30 this morning. Couldn't fall back asleep. So I sat on my phone for an hour. And then decided I'd actually just get up. So after I feed the dogs, after I let them out, after I eat my breakfast, then lately I've just been laying on the couch for about 30 minutes and watching some Netflix and cuddling with the pups some more. It's just, it's the best part of the weekend, just spending time cuddling with the animals. They're just so much fun. <laughs> mornings, mornings can be pretty rough. So, typically I make my bed right after I get out of bed, but this morning I did everything else first and then got dressed and then I realized there was cat puke on my comforter so I had to go take that to get washed and I had washed my sheets the night before so normally I do them on Sundays but there was so much dog hair on them that I just needed to do them. So I made my bed. There's just nothing like having a fresh bed. I just, I love it. That's obnoxious. One of the animals throw up on my comforter. So I gotta take it downstairs and put it in the wash. with 
copper. Lemieux, it's just the cotton lawn you saw from my previous uh, day in my life video when I ordered this package, but this is such a pretty color. So pretty. This I'm not going to take out of the package because this is for you guys. This is the lavender dressage pad and the matching bonnet. And the halter and micro. So that's one giveaway. I'm also not gonna take this one out of the package because this is also a giveaway. With the matching bonnet and the halter. So I wanted to get you guys like the whole set with the pole wraps, but they only had the pony size and the pole wraps, so that didn't happen. But I figured you can always use a halter. I mean, that's more useful than the pole wraps anyway. So I did not have, when I ordered the um, Peacock Loire, I did not order the jump pad. And I love the uh, I loved the uh, dressage one so much that I ended up getting. I ended up getting this one. Last, last item is the Loire Black. Oh, it's so pretty. In my saddle pad collection video. We saw this. I did not have a black jump pad. So now I do. It's just so pretty. They're like such nice quality. I would say I would use this today, but it's gonna be like 90 degrees today, and that's just too hot. Too hot for black. So that's it. That's all I got. So in the mornings, I will typically make a to-do list of everything that I need to get done that day. So I usually spend about 15-20 minutes just going through and racking my brain and thinking about what I need to do for the day. And then I will start doing some work. So right here I was scheduling some showings for the following morning. I will go on YouTube, respond to comments, I will edit videos, and I will also check work for my day job as well even though technically I'm hourly I don't like to come to work on Monday and have a bunch of stuff to do so I kind of keep up with my emails over the weekend so I usually spend about an hour on the computer just doing whatever it is that I need to do and then I will start cleaning
So I am in the middle of doing 80 day obsession with Beachbody and today was cardio flow and this is my absolutely favorite workout. I hate it, but in a good way, it really, it really is tough. So basically the gist of this workout is you start, so the inchworm was first and then you add the second move and then you go back to the top. So then you do the inchworm, the second move, and then you add the third move and then go back to the top and you do this all the way down to 10 moves and then you go through the entire circuit two more times so i think it was roughly about a 45 minute workout straight cardio and it is killer this workout is the same i think for the first three weeks and i am on week three right now so after the end of this week three I will not have to do it anymore, thank God.
the screen and it's just a tinted moisturizer. I can't even talk. Oh my god. Hi, kitty. This is from Tula. It's the Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Eye Brightening Balm. It just really helps brighten up underneath your eyes. I've always had bags under my eyes since I was a kid. And this basically just helps with, since I'm growing my hair out, my hair was really short. It just helps give a little bit of volume, a little bit, and kind of keeps everything stuck together. And I basically just, when I'm trying to pull my hair all the way up, I twist it and then just bobby pin the back. Obviously, we're not doing anything super cute, clearly. But I wanted to look a little bit more presentable because the chiropractor's coming out today. Done. That's it. That's it. Oh, sore. I'm literally wearing whoop, the same workout top that I just got all nasty and sweaty in because why would I wear something clean and have more laundry to do? Wear C4 belt because it's cute. Hmm. All right, this is literally. Taylor Sports Bins. This workout top is from Fabletics and a C4 belt. I'm gonna go put socks on. Oh boy. Yep, I feel that. I feel that. A I am so. doing I'm gonna put my phone on the charger for a little bit it's like already hot it's 70
93 degrees and it's not even 9 o'clock. It is going to be a hot freaking day today. Hot, 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 hot. So, the plan for today is to hopefully ride 10 on the flat, do a little bit of dressage, ride Theo on the flat, and maybe pop him over a couple small fences. And if 10 is not rideable, I'm going to definitely ride Olaf. It depends if I if I don't ride 10, I, or if I ride 10, I may not ride Olaf. I don't know. I can't decide yet. I'll probably end up taking a lesson on Olaf tomorrow, so I might as well ride it today. But I am probably going to have to ride him in a German Martingale. So it's not draw reins, but a German Martingale is like a safer version of draw reins, if that makes sense. I normally don't like to use any kind of um, gadgets or anything like that other than the side reins like a neck stretcher but unfortunately I cannot find my neck stretcher and Olaf was a track horse well he was a race horse and then he was a pony horse for the track so he has a very 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 nasty habit of lifting like like literally just doing this the whole ride and it's not because he's in pain or anything like that because uh, he's my trainer's horse but we had him checked out and everything was good he's been chiropracted so um it's just a habit that he has and when he has a tie down on he's perfect like he doesn't even try to do it because he knows he has the tie down on but when he doesn't have anything on like that it's just a constant like he's more nervous without it than he is with it if that makes sense so I'm going to try him in the German Martingale to see how he does and see how that goes because I tried him in a running Martingale, it just wasn't doing anything at all. And my um my uh what am I trying to say? <laughs> um standing martingale I just don't think it's gonna really work I don't know I may try that first and see but he he really he's he has a difficult horse to ride he's not an easy horse and I think he's gonna do really well in the German martingale but like he knows how to move he has a proper base put on him he just constantly flips his head like we've had his teeth looked at we've had everything and there's nothing that they found as far as like a reason why he would be doing it so I don't know so you'll see you'll see how that goes and he just he needs more work he needs more training but he's got the base he knows what to do But Kinsey said she'd video my ride, so that is so sweet of her. I got me matching today. And it literally matches my workout shirt perfect, so that's kind of another reason why I didn't change out of my workout shirt, but oh. we all know what time it is. It is coffee time. Chart. This line is so long. This is bullshit. Just kidding. Didn't get my coffee. Really upset about it. <sighs> also, somebody asked in my last video, or one of my last videos, where these sunglasses are from. And these are by the brand Key or Quay. It's Q U A Y. I believe they're the Desi Perkins collection that she did with Key. 
and my mom has a online clothing boutique and she sells these on there so I will post the link down below in the description bar to my mom's website um, it's just she loves fashion so she she actually works at Washu full-time too and she just does it for fun so oh, I'm driving is so dangerous sorry um, so I've got these ones and Pen down to the track, just in a halter, just walk him around, let him graze, let him get to the top line. He laid in his poo last night, and he was actually turned out when I got here, so I was a little bit upset because of his eye. His eye is pretty swollen, so I went and got him out of the pasture and then brought him back into his stall and decided we'd just go down for a little walk down here. Yeah. What do you think, baby? You're very handsome. Yeah, okay. Ooh, come. Good boy. I think he's walking. He's walking around. What? Huh. What do you think? Favorite place to roll. Right? Careful with your eye, bud. Yeah, careful. Oh, good boy. That's a good man. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, what a good man. Oh, what a good boy. Yeah, what a good man.
know who Olaf is. You would have had to follow me since like October of last year because I started kind of leasing him for a little bit and then he he just wasn't quite what I wanted for a second horse. He is a little bit older. I mean I think he'll be a really great jumper one day but it's so hot. It's so hot. Olaf, what are you doing? Are you being good? Are you being good? Are you being good? <sighs> I bet it's like 90 degrees already. Last time I checked, I think it was close to like 80. Ah, oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. Don't do it. I feel you trying to rub up against me. It's weird, Rooster. Uh-oh. Blink real fast. You're okay, rooster. It's just people coming up from the thing. Good job. Get off me, flies. The picture. Oh, nice job. You got right in there. Don't do it. Don't do it, shit bag. I'm still taking video, don't worry. I'm just doing it over top of my horse. Really? Brewster, come on, dude. walking around the chiropractor's almost here so we gotta get Theo and she's gonna do 10. Good boy. <laughs>
just is like. He's just staring at Emma. He's like, she is so pretty. He's like, hey, mom, um, are you, can she be a part of the Bay Crew? <laughs> He's like, Dan, are you sure you want to keep her? Because if not, she can come over here and be with us. <laughs> She's like, I do, though. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for chewing your alfalfa on my shoulder. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's, that's really, really good. Really good. Yeah, that was really nice. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Beautiful.
was all crazy with all their shit, locky locky stuff, and all their craziness, and just get me a nice freaking big ol' iced coffee with cream and sugar, and call it a day. So obviously we're done at the barn. I didn't get nearly as much film as I had wanted to. I'm disgusting. I'm dirty. Um, both the boys got chiropracted. Uh, both of them were a little bit out of whack in their um, lumbar area, which is just very, it's very general for sport horses to be out in that area anyway. So they are going to be feeling much, much better. I rode him after his adjustment just to get him loosened up a little bit and see if we can't get him to hold. And he felt... <laughs> He felt so much different. It's so crazy how they feel like after adjustment versus before because I rode him yesterday. And he just, he felt very, um, I don't want to say wiggly, but like he felt very loose. <laughs> like he felt like, um, he was like, oh, oh. <laughs> like he didn't know what to do with his body. Mm. That really so good. Oh. oh my god, it feels so good to sit down, doesn't it, Bubbles? Oh, thank you so much for those kisses. Those are the best kisses in the whole world. Those are the best. Lots of good kisses. Lots of handsome kisses. I'm lying on the couch. Got my laptop. I was starting to edit it, and then I just got so hungry and so tired. I'm so comfortable. I normally don't ever lay on the couch really other than like mornings for a little bit a little bit when I get home but I've been here for like an hour now I laid out for a little bit I got burnt today a very interesting tan line on my back the dog goes you guys hanging now are you guys hanging now I still have to put away my laundry before I go to bed. And I'm like, what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? It's only 4.30 and I'm ready for bed. Kika. Kika. Oh, someone's jealous. Jealous. Jealous man. I don't even know if you can tell the difference. Yep, it's 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 different. <laughs> yep, I tried to get my legs tanned today, but definitely not. Because if this doesn't work out, I mean, you know, you don't want to be like well, one of those guys. You know what I mean? There's always a possibility that uh, our marriage doesn't work out, and I would feel terrible if I did take out the humanity, and then we both feel. Take the point. Take the point. I know you guys are married, but we have to be friends first. Please, we're in this video.